Hey, I'm Mike and I'm here to answer the question of what is Shopify and how does it work? So you might've heard about Shopify from other people online. Maybe you're looking to move a, a physical business to an online business. Maybe you're looking to start a brand new online store. And so whatever your reason is in this video, I'm gonna dive into what Shopify is, what it does, what the benefits and the drawbacks of it are, as well as go into some examples of other Shopify sites and get you started with the first steps moving forward. So Shopify is a complete and comprehensive e-commerce platform, meaning it does pretty much everything you need to sell online. It has millions of merchants using it to run their online stores, to run their businesses, to run their blogs, and Shopify automates dozens of jobs for you so you can run an online store with as little effort and as little payroll as possible. So instead of hiring a web developer and someone to track inventory and all these different jobs, Shopify automates many of these jobs with free built-in software. So in just over maybe an hour, maybe two hours, you can make a stunning professional website with no web development background at all. So you can see why this is so appealing to so many people to be able to make a, a really clean and professional online store with really no experience and also automate their inventory and things like that, uh, their advertising all built into Shopify. So going a little bit deeper, Shopify, first of all, lets you build a website. You can choose from a lot of different templates, build your website, design your website, customize it for your own needs. Then you can list products. You can have many different kinds of products. I'll talk about that in a minute. You can track your inventory. You can organize your marketing campaigns. You have a lot of different apps and plugins, so they integrate with a lot of other software out there. And it really does have nearly everything you would need for an online store. And, and one other important thing to note here is that it is cloud-based. So if you make this on your laptop at home, you can access it from any desktop anywhere in the world or your phone or really anything, obviously, with an internet connection. The templates, as I mentioned before, do make this a really easy website builder. And so it's not only very customizable, of course, you can do anything you want there, but you can also start off from a really nice uh, base level having a template. So you can just look at you know dozens of different templates. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. And once you find a template you like, you can start building on that. You can change the font, you can change the color, you can change the images, and then you'll have a really nice looking website with very little effort because you didn't have to design the overall layout, the spacing of things, all of that you can choose with a template in the very beginning. But of course, Shopify is much more than just a website builder. Shop is in the name, so obviously the intent here is to be selling things on Shopify. And you can really think of it like, instead of selling on Amazon or on eBay, you're selling on your own store, your own website, your own online store here. And so you can actually sell many different styles of products too, which gives you this extra layer of flexibility. Of course, you can sell physical products online. I think that's the first thing people think of, but a lot of people don't realize you can also sell digital products on Shopify. You can sell services. So that could be like a coaching or something like that. Um, you can sell gift cards as well. So that's another way to boost your business. And you do have some point of sale or POS opportunities that mean that you can sell things in person and, and do that through your Shopify store. Like, so if you have a storefront and you have an online store, you know, you wanna track your inventory together, you wanna have all your payments go the same way. So a point of sale is really a nice feature um, that works well with Shopify as well. And on top of that, you can sell on social storefronts. So by this, I mean an Instagram storefront, for example, you can sell directly through Instagram using Shopify. And of course, Shopify integrates with many, many different social media platforms and really a lot of other softwares out there as well. Shopify also has their own payment processor. So Shopify payments, but you could accept PayPal and just you know a lot of different ways to accept credit cards on there. So accepting credit cards in person or online, again, another benefit because it's very reputable and many consider it to be very safe. I keep mentioning throughout this video that you can track inventory. Of course, when things are being sold online or using the point of sale, uh, you can track the inventory, like I said, but you can also get low inventory alerts. So you're able to not have to spend time going through and looking at your inventory. And instead, it'll just notify you and you can place another order for more of your inventory. Of course, you can also dig into analytics besides just what's in inventory. You can look at who visited your website, how long they were on there, what they bought, what was added to cart, all these different things that can help you optimize. And if you have multiple products, it's a great way to figure out which products are working well, like which ones do people like, but then they don't actually go through and buy them. Maybe the pricing's not right. The analytics can really go a long way. And Besides that, you can actually also have a blog on Shopify. So the blogging capabilities here allow you to get a little bit of a larger reach. So for example, if you sell kitchen supplies, maybe a cutting board or something like that, maybe you would want to have a blog about some different recipes, or maybe you want to have a blog about 
like top 10 kitchen supplies. And in there, if you start ranking in Google, you get that organic traffic, people are coming over for free, reading your article, and in your article, maybe you have a subtle little plug saying, by the way, this is our cutting board. That way you're getting some free extra traffic for people that could buy or potentially buy your, your cutting board, your kitchen supplies, whatever it is you're selling. And another thing I keep mentioning is the integrations. So I wanna elaborate on that a little bit more as well. You have the ability with Shopify to get apps, so to speak. So these are plugins or integrations with Shopify. So if you're using Shopify, you can have an integration with Printful, for example, where you could do a, a print on demand drop shipping, where you don't actually have the inventory, but you're selling, like actually, I made this sweatshirt. I wasn't trying to wear this for this video, but I, yeah, I, like, I made this sweatshirt in a tutorial where I showed you guys how to do that. Essentially, it's like, if I was going to sell this sweatshirt, I don't need to hold any inventory. I just have Printful connected. When somebody orders this sweatshirt through my website, Printful makes the sweatshirt and ships direct to them. So, so that's an example of one of the cool integrations, but there's many more from marketing to like an email campaign with MailChimp different things like that. And in addition, there is a marketplace full of experts to help you if you get stuck along the way, but I honestly hope that never happens because we have several tutorials on how to use Shopify. Like I said, I have a, like about a two and a half hour tutorial on how to use Shopify to do print on demand drop shipping with Printful. Uh, but of course, other tutorials on just using Shopify alone. I'll link those down below. By the way, we do not sell any course. Um, some content out there sells courses, so you watch a video and then you get upsold. We don't do that, so I promise everything that I think that you need to know to make a Shopify store is in fact in that video on YouTube for free. Just go on down and click that link and you can head over to that. And now I wanna actually get into some examples of Shopify stores. These are ones that I found and I'll show you what to look for to identify a Shopify store. But the first one, this is Anchor, a pretty reputable brand, actually a really large brand that makes you know different electronics. They make battery banks, they make chargers for your phone. They also make different things like projectors um, and even headphones and speakers. So a pretty wide uh, sprawling brand, pretty big brand, and they're using Shopify to sell their stuff. Another one is Oregon. You can see that they're in grocery stores all over. They make um, protein powder. So really Shopify is obviously very popular among big brands, including Kylie Cosmetics, uh, like the Kardashians. Kim also uses this. Um, you can see like they're, that's a massive brand. It's a huge business. And of course, with that, they're running most of their sales or many of their sales through Shopify. Additionally, you can see Climate right here. I really like how they designed theirs. More of an outdoorsy feel, of course, because they're selling uh, camping pads or sleeping pads. So those are just a couple examples of some Shopify sites. The way that I usually go about identifying them is I will go to any website, a website that usually is an individual seller. You go to their online store. And then if you go to, uh, I, you know, more tools on Chrome, for example, you can go to inspect. Um, there's other browsers that have something similar, some, some type of inspect, and you'll be able to search for Shopify. So if Shopify shows up, odds are they're using Shopify for their online store. So what are the drawbacks with Shopify? Really, there aren't a lot of huge ones. It's a pretty frictionless experience that a lot of people really do enjoy. Of course, if you wanted a little bit more customization, something like WordPress could be a good option. And I have tutorials on how to do that as well. It's definitely a lot more technical, um, but you could save a couple extra dollars and you could customize it a little bit more. So I would say for about 95% of users out there, Shopify is probably your best bet for making an online store. It's just the easiest, everything is bundled together. And ultimately, like it's just a really frictionless experience. But if you wanna get started, I do have a full tutorial linked down below. You can also go on over to santrellmedia.com slash Shopify. That's where you can get started, you get your free trial. That is an affiliate link, so that is how we keep our content free. No courses, all free information. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but if you do start a Shopify store and you use our link, we do get a commission from that. So I really appreciate the support for the channel. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Michael Bryan from Santral Media. Thanks for watching. See you next time.